today we're going to do a video on how to make a shape card. I've had a request to show how to do that. And I am using Everyday Paper Dolls cartridge. And on page 75 of the handbook, the headwear feature, this cute little bear. I actually have this card posted on my blog and we're just going to do that again. So I am going to choose the bear and size it up. And I think on my other card I made it probably about five by six, I think. And this bear is going to be the front of my card. So I'm going to move it down to the bottom of the mat. When doing a shape card, you have to decide which way the images fit together best. Is it best to have a side folding card where you weld another bear beside this one? Or you can um, weld an image, the, the bear on top of this card to have a top folding card. And for the way this bear was shaped, I thought the top folding card worked best. So I'm going to move this bear down. I'm going to click weld because I know I want it, I want it to be welded to the other bear. I'm going to copy, paste, and then I'm going to use my arrow key to move the second bear up. Then there are a couple things you've got to do. The first thing I'm going to do is over here in my shape properties box this rotate 90 degree or turn 90 i'm going to click it until the bear is upside down then for me for some reason i have to click off of the image and then click back on to go ahead and do anything else with it i don't know why but we're going to um, arrow down and then as you can tell, because the bear is facing opposite directions, if I were to cut it out this way and fold it, the bear's not going to line up because you're going to have a head on each end. So I'm going to go back to the shape properties box, click flip shapes, and there you go, they line up. Then when I cut it out and fold it, as you can tell, everything is going to line up. This is kind of a mirror image. The next thing we want to do, because this is just going to be the base of the card. Actually, there's two ways you can do it. Because I am a huge layer person and I love to add more dimension, I am going to copy and paste this bear again. Copy, paste. And this one actually won't have to be welded because we're going to cut it out and attach it separately but this is the one that's going to have all of our details on it so we're just going to have to move it on the mat so that we have room to cut it out then on this card I want everything to be smooth but on the everyday paper dolls cartridge there's not a shadow or a blackout feature so I'm just going to go through and hide all my little contours and to do that you just left click the image and you see it turns it pink then I'm going to right click and click hide selected contour that way it will not cut all those little tick marks and I'm going to go through and do that on on the front and the back of my card and then we'll be ready to cut it out now I actually have already cut mine out so this is how it cut and as you can tell the little bear is welded together to make the base of the card and then here's my second little bear that's going to be the layer so let's go ahead and put it together and hopefully I explained that simply enough and I'm gonna quickly move the camera over gosh it's been a little while since I've done a video I think I'm way out of practice Things have been kind of crazy here and I haven't had a lot of extra time. Okay, so this is my card. If you want, you could you could score it, but since I have such a small little crease or fold, I'm just gonna fold it over. Now, if you wanted, you would not have to add the extra layer. As you can tell, you could just decorate this bear and if you didn't hide all the contours, you could draw in the face 
with the little tick marks that are given. But I'm actually going to decorate the layer and then we will um, attach it to this. And I'll probably use pop dots just to kind of pop it and give it a little bit more dimension. And is all I'm going to do. And on, on the layer, I guess I need to go back and add, because I didn't want it to cut out the little eye because it completely cuts it out and you have a hole, I did hide contour the little eye. I left the little eyebrows, but the eye, I'm just going to wing it and freehand it. So let me see if I can do that. And actually, I think I need my light back on. I thought maybe it was causing a glare in the video, but hopefully not. But I'm just going to take a black zig pin and go over my little tick marks. This just gives the little bear some dimension and personality. But as you can tell, it's really not hard to do a shape card. You can take pretty much any shape or image that's on the Cricut cartridges and weld them together to get a fun little card. And although there's no little tick marks on the toes, I like to give it little, little, I don't know, toenails or whatever you call it. And then I'm going to use the wider end of my pen and color in its little nose. And on my other card, I actually use glossy accents to go ahead and give the nose a little bit of shine. And I use some pink ink to give it a little rosy cheek. Then I'm going to ink its little feet in the edges with a little black just to kind of help it stand out. I'm all about dimension and adding extra to whatever I'm doing. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to try to freehand the eye and try to do it working around the camera. I am not the greatest with eyes by any means. But just kind of wing it. You can give it little eyelashes if you want. If you have the Peachy Keen stamps, you can stamp the face also. So it's kind of whatever you prefer, whatever's easiest. And then I'm going to use a little white Signo pen to get add just a little white of the eye. Give it a little dimension, maybe a little line on its nose and pretty much that's it I'll just go ahead and add some pop dots real quick and we'll add it to our card and that's all there is to it simple and quick and my husband just walked in and he's gonna make me laugh I usually kick him out when I'm doing a video because he can't keep quiet so he usually gets sent outside don't ya He's thinking real hard of something smart to say. Okay. A few more pop dots, and I guess should, I'm probably using a whole package of pop dots here. Not thinking about what I was doing. There. Oops. Okay, I feel like this video just went to heck. <laughs> oh, well, that's life. Okay. Got him all pop dotted. As you can tell, I just kind of randomly put them everywhere. Good thing pop dots are cheap. Because I usually get carried away. Okay, we're going to place it on our card and we, that's it, we will have it. And then as you can tell by looking, it does give it some dimension and just a little pop. Also, by doing it this way, it kind of hides that little flat mark from where we folded our card. And that's it. Anything else? Oh, I know. I did add a bow on my card. I tied a little bow around its neck with a little charm. So I will probably go back and add a bow to it. But that's it. That's how you make a shape card.
Thanks for watching.